Yep, that's right. Bed Wars Season 8 is out now. So let's dive deep into the new season and see all the new and exciting changes. Because this is major. All right, guys. So we're going to run down all the patch notes from Season 8 one at a time. And I'll also show off what each one does. So welcome to Season 8. Forge new weapons and upgrades in Bed Wars Season 8. The blacksmith has returned with powerful new weapons for those strong enough to use them. The forge and new core weapons. So it looks like we're actually getting a bunch of new stuff with weapons, which is actually pretty cool, and we can get upgrades. So it says forge new upgrades using mastery points gained by fighting other players and leveling up. Upgrades unlock gear and make you more powerful. So it looks like this is just another way to get more OP. All right, so I'm in a game with a bunch of you guys right now, and as you can see, we need mastery points. Whoa, and there's health bars above everybody, bro. This is crazy. All right, I want to get myself some mastery points so I can actually do some stuff with it, and then we'll check out all the weapons. Sound like a plan? And I gave myself 10,000 health just so we could test this out. Look, they can see my health bar now. This guy's low. Good night. How do I not have any mastery points, bro? What the heck? I've gotten killed. Oh, I got a mastery point. Let's go. We got a mastery point. I think we can go ahead and spend it. All right, let's check these out. What do we got? So it looks like we can forge extra damage by 5% to this, or we can go ahead and get a scythe. Is that how that works? Oh my God. Wait a minute. I think I'm forging a scythe. A wooden scythe. Oh my God. I got myself a wooden scythe. Let's go, baby. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. I want to see if I can get some good kills with this wooden scythe. Yo, this wooden scythe is actually kind of good, bro. Did I get that kill? I didn't even get that kill, dude. All right, let me get some more mastery points and we'll get back in a second here. Okay. Okay, so it looks like each kill doesn't actually get you one individual mastery point. And unfortunately, there's no command for the mastery point yet, so I can't just obtain as many as I want. Also, to be in my videos, join my Discord link below. And look out for notifications from me in this channel right here. Nice. See, I still don't have another mastery, even though I just got myself another kill. I thought that's how you get these, bro. No? No mastery points, boys. I wasted all my mastery. Wait, what does this say? Oh, so you can only choose one weapon with the mastery points. And then after that, you need two mastery points to upgrade it to the extra damage to an iron one. Okay, that kind of makes sense. And you can only choose a very specific weapon. Okay, well, obviously, we know what each one does, but I guess the scythe is probably the best, it looks like. Unless you want to main a bow or armor. It really depends what you want. Okay, so I guess I can buy an iron scythe or like, how does this work? Wait, so I guess, how do I not have an iron scythe yet? I guess I need more mastery in order to actually get that. Look at this dude, bro. Are you serious? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Dude, how do I get more mastery points? We need as many mastery points as possible. As much as possible. Oh, there we go. Oh, so it looks like uh, one of our teammates destroyed a bed. So we just got five mastery points for that. Yo, that's actually so sick. Okay, that actually gives me a really good idea about what this update's all about. So it looks like obviously the more team plays you make, the better. All right, we got five mastery points. Looks like uh, we can go ahead and forge some more stuff here. We need two to get the, uh, the iron... I guess. Did we get it? Oh, we got a diamond scythe available now. Oh, so it just unlocks it. Ah. Okay, we can forge it again for three. Let's go ahead and forge it to the last bit. I think that'll get it. All right, I think we can actually unlock ourselves a diamond scythe now. Oh no, we're on the diamond scythe next. Okay, so I have myself an iron scythe now. Looks like a lot of people went for the scythe option too. This is so interesting. Not gonna lie, this is actually game changing completely, boys. This changes the entire game, but the problem is I think you need to break beds in order for this to happen. Yeah, because kills don't seem to really do it too much, to be honest. Honest. I'm gonna try to break their bed here. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Look at them. They're so mad. You can't kill me. I must break your bed. And boom. There we go. Oh, we got 15. Okay, so it looks like you just need to break as many beds as you can. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Okay, um, this definitely changes the game forever, but let me forge this and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like we pretty much have a max level scythe now. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, that unlocks this. Wait, Nocturne. Oh, my God, that's 20 emeralds. Hold on. I, emerald, infinite. I wish I could get myself points, but I can't. Oh, I can forge it to the next level, though. Here we go. Yes, we got five star. All right, so now we have access to the final. Oh, wait, no, we don't. What? We need even more after that? I only have access to the diamond bro we need to go ahead and break one more bed i think so it looks like we need eight mastery points to get to the next level all right we're gonna try to break a bed i think you only really get them from breaking beds so they don't want to make it too too op but i literally brought the worst pickaxe for this literally the worst pickaxe ever how many points please give us more please 15 okay so basically based on your match level that's how many you get let's get the last upgrade here all right now we're at the mastery level check it out we got it the nocturne scythe oh it kind of like turned us invisible at this at the last second too one person in the chat said w -D. Dagger. So it looks like a lot of the things are actually pretty OP, but let's see how much damage this actually does. Now, keep in mind, this isn't an actual game. We're just kind of messing around. Dude, this thing is like three hit. 
Oh my god, it's literally a three hit. That's so cool. All right, I guess we get the whole forge thing. This is honestly a cool update. I don't know how the community is going to take it. Let me know if you guys like it or not. I think it's kind of cool, but it definitely changes the game a whole lot, like on a whole new level. All right, check it out. Here's the second section of this video, which is all about kits. Electra is the top level 50 kit. I know you guys want to see this. Dash to the players to deal electric damage. Hold up to two stacks of dashes and regain all stacks. If you kill an enemy with your dash. Dude, this is literally neon from Valorant, bro. I'm, I'm definitely this. Then we also got the Fortuna, which is summon cards to attack players, deal damage to enhance your cards with different effects. That's kind of cool. And the Ignis is use a spirit bridge to travel around the map, healing your allies and providing them with armor buffs. Interesting. Oh, check out this new map, dude. This looks so nice. Oh my God. This is like a camping map, bro. This looks sick. Oh my God. Check it out. Okay. So it looks like my electric dash is currently loading right now. We got the forge option right here. I can't believe Bed Wars really just changed up everything, bro. Diamond Swords exist but they only exist like depending on which like item you want there are diamond daggers there's a diamond scythe and a diamond great hammer so it's really all like what you choose to play with you know all right i got my two dashes i got myself a sword i think we should be good so close yet so far all right ready let's try this out here we go oh that's sick that's so sick yo Oh, <laughs> I, he still got me, but dude, that was crazy. That's actually wild, bro. I love that. The dashes, like, I don't even care about this. Look at that. That's so sick. That can literally get you out of any PvP scenario ever, but I think you have to get a kill if you want it to regen. Pretty interesting. Definitely pretty interesting for sure. I like that, though. It looks like Season 8 kit is looking pretty nice, I gotta say. All right, let's go ahead and try to kill this guy's bed here. Let's go ahead and grab that bed. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god, I got so many mastery points. Yo, and, and these guys are going for my bed. All right, check it out. Here's Fortuna. We got, it looks like card throw. Um, and it looks like this is like some sort of like level, like some killing level. I don't really know exactly how this works, but we need to go ahead and try to get our first kill, whether it's that guy or that guy over there. I don't even know if there's a guy. Oh, there is a guy over there. Uh, he's coming over to hang out. Check it out. Check it out. Did it throw it at him? Oh my God. It did. It did. It did. There he is. Good night. Okay, it looks like I now have these. Upgrade available. What is this? Explosive. The last card of the attack deals an explosion. Sharper increases the damage of each card. Card burns enemies upon hit. Oh, yes. Heck yeah. All right, check it out. We got two people coming for us. I don't even care if they break my bed right now. I really don't. I really don't at all. Um, It looks like we got... Oh, card thrown at somebody. Let's go. Let's go. We got cards. We got cards. We got cards. Let's go. Oh my god, there's one. There's one. Oh yeah, run away. Run away. All right, I got another upgrade available. Let's see. Quick draw. There we go. What's up, dog? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, I'm low as heck though. These guys are literally targeting me, bro. Aerodynamics. I have no idea what that's doing. That card, that card can't even be thrown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tons of damage, bro. Tons of damage on this guy. Tons of damage, bro. All right, I got my upgrades available. Um, Card heals you upon. Yep. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just adding all my upgrades. Critical strike. Bro, this kid is OP as heck, bro. I don't have a bed, though. This is an issue. All right. Wow, we actually survived that. So far, I like this level 35 kit quite a lot. I don't know if this guy's got a card on him. What is you? Oh, you means upgrade. What's this guy doing, bro? This guy's having a good time, bro. He's having a great time. Look at him. He went back home. This guy's running away from me, bro. He knows I'm too strong. I like this kit so far. Oh, I got myself max. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I only got one mastery point, though. It's, like, glitched. I think mastery points are low-key broken. I'm not I'm not too sure here, but these guys are about to go for each other. Wait, this guy's teaming. Oh, he's hacking, bro. He's literally hacking. Oh, he's killing me. We love hackers, don't we? All right, last kit but not least, we got the Ignis. Use a spirit bridge to travel around the map, healing your allies and providing them with the armor buff. Okay, this next kit's probably way better for squads. So I'm going into a squads match. All right, check it out. So it looks like this kit literally does nothing but... Wait, what is this? Spirit bridge. Oh my God, that thing is kind of cool looking. I don't know what it is, but apparently it helps my teammates, bro. So I got to get on it. All right, I got enough for one. Let's buy it. All right, spirit bridge. What happens if I just throw it? Yo, what the heck? Can my can my teammates go? Oh, oh, okay, all right. Doesn't last that long. All right, well, now at least we know what that thing does, bro. I just don't know how it's gonna go from here, though. It's just, it's very unpredictable. That's all I could say. And this guy's coming for our bed like he owns the place, bro. Trying to get those, those points, bro. Those good old mastery points. He wants them. Well, I died. That kid kind of sucks, to be honest with you. It's nice, but it's good for teams. That's really all it is. All right, so turns out there is a mastery command. I now have a ton of mastery points all right let's try things out here let's go ahead and unlock everything just to see what happens oh my god just to get an emerald sword you need to work hard bro but it looks like you get more stuff every time starter you get eight plus arrows a little bit more damage uh crossbow unlock plus 20 in damage bro they basically just made all the weapons pretty op 16 arrows armor penetration and then you get the head
headhunter. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. All right, what about armor? What happens with your armor? How OP does it really get? Okay, 20 with the uh, diamond armor. Ah, uh, 30 with the, uh, I guess, still diamond armor. Oh my god. God, bro. You literally are unstoppable if you can master everything, bro. Hold on, wait. Does anything glow? I gotta get myself infinite emeralds and armor. Ah, it doesn't really glow or anything, but this armor definitely is really strong. As you can see, I'm 200 health. Okay, well, so far, this update definitely changes the game completely. Uh, my personal thoughts are it could be a good thing. I just haven't played it enough yet, but we'll see what happens, boys. This is definitely gonna be an interesting time. Mastery points are now a thing, and Bed Wars has changed forever, so let's see if this is a make or break.